from Television City in Hollywood, this is the $25,000 Pyramid. Today's special guests are Lois Nettleton and Bill Cullen. And now, here is your host, Dick Clark. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Lois, how are you? You've got a beautiful outfit on today. Is that Japanese? Thank you. Yes. Uh huh. Kimono. Yeah. Beautiful thing. Thank you. Those the, the, the kimonos can cost thousands of dollars, can't and they? they can be real cheapies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either way. We'll leave it at that. I'm not going to dig into the this. The cheapies subject. are real popular right now. <laughs> that's that's very pretty. Julie Downey's your partner, and she hails from Lake Tahoe, one of the prettier spots in the mm -hmm. world. What are you doing down in our neck of the woods? Well, um, I got married up there. I used to live down here, and mm -hmm. I moved up there because that's where my husband lives. I think that's, that's a good, that's a good like idea. A pretty yeah. good idea to me. <laughs> We're just visiting back here. Yes. Nice to have you here. Good luck to you, Thank my you. dear. Bill, you're originally from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Yep, Pittsburgh. You and I, you know, what, 400 miles apart? Yeah, I was in Philadelphia, Philadelphia. for a few years. When and here we are. Here in the land of sunshine, milk, yeah. and honey. This is Indiana, isn't it? No, <laughs> <laughs> lost again. Uh, Paul Feig is your partner. Paul, how much money have you won so far, sir? Uh, I believe I won right around $2,150. $2, what is this, a ventriloquist act? <laughs> you guys got to straighten up. Yesterday's lecture, they had, if you didn't watch, a perfect score of 14 in three rounds. And men, it's somehow or other to win the game. We got giddy is what we got. <laughs> Well, the winner's circle is over here. It awaits you, gentlemen, and the ladies, and we'll talk about the ten and twenty-five thousand dollars you can win when you get there. These are the subjects this Tuesday: uh, Gemini Cricket, the Owl and the Pussycat, Quiet Please, Criss Crossed, Grin and Bear It. For me and my gallery, we play a Seven Eleven bonus card in the first round, and Lois Nettleton makes that first pick. We're going to take Quiet Please. Quiet Please. Mm -hmm. These are things that are loud. Describe <laughs> these things that are loud. Mm -hmm. Ready? Go. The plane that goes zoom. A sonic uh, jet. Mm -hmm. um, ah! Scream. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fire engine has a siren. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to throw a big party. Mm -hmm. um, the laughing, the animal, the laughing. Hyena. Mm -hmm. uh, a big of people. Crowd. Like, mm -hmm. um, the car, when it makes a big noise, it, it, the, it goes boom. Kerpunk? No, no, no. no. <laughs> when you Crash. start out the engine, and it, 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 it makes a loud, loud noise. Bang. Not the front, but the rear. I am told to correct my pronunciation, the pronunciation of Gemini. It's Gemini, as in whatever, you know. <laughs> I was going for Gemini, and I guess it's Gemini if I've given it some thought. You don't want that one anyway. No, forget it. No. <laughs> See, I told you they didn't want to go. What would you like? Uh, we'll take the owl and the pussycat. The, the owl, owl and that's the, the owl and the pussycat. The better choice. Hey. to win $1,100 once again here. These are things associated with an owl. Oh, hey, let me check one thing. If, yeah. I, if I pass, I cannot come back, right? At this point. That's correct at this okay. point, Bill. There are points in the right. game where it's a, you know, a tiebreaker situation. If the mm -hmm. person you're playing with jumps back after the time has mm -hmm. run out and got it, but th at this We're point, you skip. We're going for all of them now. That's it. Going yeah. for broke. Things associated with an owl. With Ready. An owl. Go. Uh, oh, it blinks? Uh, it's where they keep the cattle in a, on a farm. Oh, in a corral. And they know the owl stays there. Oh, at the barn? Yes. Uh, uh, Niall is very... Very... Uh, Sage-like. He's... Oh, very... Uh, smart. Brave. Oh, intelligent. No, brave. No, uh, the old owl. Wise. That's it. Uh, they, they, his skin has little... Feathers. Uh, a tree has many of these sticking oh, out. Oh, leaves. No. Branches? Yes. <sighs> this is his... A beak. Right. Uh, he makes... Hoot. 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 That's good. You did it before I did it. <laughs> Judge, the judge, for one reason or other, Bill, didn't like your description of hoot as who. Oh, oh, that wasn't a word, that was a sound. <laughs> I don't care, he didn't like it anyway. I think you said it before I hooted anyway, but that's all right. I would be very happy to have him check it. I didn't oh, hear it that no. way, but let, let's, just yeah. for safety's sake, somebody oh, yeah. listen to the audio tape, because there's $1,100 riding on it. At the moment, the score is six to six. Okay. Uh, Julie, what would you like? I think we'll try grin and bear it. All right, please describe these things associated with a smile. Things associated with a smile. Ready? Go. These on the side of your cheek? Dimples. Right. This is the, the woman in an airplane who serves your coffee tea. Stewardess. Right. Um, blank and crackers. Cheese. Uh-huh. And um, this is the guy who plays the piano and he wears all the, the rings on his fingers. Oh, Liberace. Uh-huh. 
Um, this is, if you have a, a cane, an old man walks with a... A limp? No, it's not straight, it's... Uh, crooked. Right, okay. Um, this is the um, pumpkin that you carve out at Halloween time. Jack Lantern. Uh-huh. Uh, this is a type of person that you don't... Oh. <laughs> okay. Four, ten, twelve, uh, six. In the interim, gentlemen, I've checked with the judge. The score is correct as it stands. It is 12 to 6. Paul, what would you like? Uh, we'll take crisscrossed. Crisscrossed it is. Yeah. These are okay. things that you cross. Things that you cross. Oh. Ready. Go. Okay, uh, these? The fingers. Right. And uh, not a road, but a... Uh, highway. A you cross the... Bridge. You help an old lady across the... Street. Right. And uh, this is... You carry your bride over the... Threshold. Yes. And uh, this is... Climb the highest... Mountain. Right. And uh, this runs around the earth. It's the line... The equator. Center. Right. And uh, this is a game you play, and it's got the squares... Tic-tac-toe. Right. And uh, this... When you're in a race, you cross the... Finish line. Right. You got it. Right. Yeah. Subjects left: Gemini Cricket, and for me in my gallery, and uh, Lois. Uh, we'll take for me in my gallery. And uh, you will give. Yes. May I ask you, Julie, to say a couple of words to me? A couple of words. That's good enough. Thank you. I, <laughs> for some reason or other, I lost you in the last round. Oh, okay. And I, sometimes my speaker goes out, but it happened last week, and it seems to be happening again. These are things you see in a museum. Mm -hmm. Things you see in a museum. Ready? Go. A knight wears shining armor. Um, in Egypt, they wrap them up Mommy? when they're dead. Uh, the king sits on a uh, throne. Uh, you paint someone's P portrait, picture. Mm -hmm. uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Uh, um, uh, not a mural, but a painting. It's it's, it's woven. A tapestry. Mm -hmm. um, you have your coin blank or collection. stamp. Mm -hmm. That's got it, ladies. That's always your point. A little tough to give you credit for Van Gogh when you say Van. Uh -huh. but, no, it's 18 to 13. We'll see whether that five points holds up here. Who will give on Gem the other? Gemini Crickite. You got it. <laughs> You're going to give? Yeah. Is there words you read in a horoscope column? Words horoscope. you read in a horoscope column. They need 19. Ready, go. Uh, it comes out at night, not the, the sun. Moon. Uh, when you, uh, when you uh, foretell the future, you make a... Oh, prediction. Or you, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this is your, uh, you're born under a... You sign. Uh, you take a, when you go from one city to another, you take oh, a... a trip. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you really are fond of someone, you... Love them. Yes. Uh, you look at this, it's like a map, but it has all Chart. the stars. That's you it, know. gentlemen. You've won the trip to the Winter Circle. This will happen right after this. $10,000. Check him out if he gets you a little head nod, you're on the right track. Yeah. If he gives you one of these, no, but he can't use his hands to help you. And you have a tendency to do that. Are you yeah, aware of that? Yeah, I'm strapped in, I know. <laughs> yeah, but don't... Uh... You know, until, until recently, when I, when I was here doing the show and I got itchy, Dick had to scratch my nose. <laughs> <Yeah>, but <laughs> wasn't allowed to use my hands for anything. <laughs> really? Well, tell me if you get an itch. I will. <laughs> okay. You're a nice man. Thank you. <laughs> You feel I've lost it here somehow or other between we're, we're these two? Little, I could go for some ranch dressing right now. All right, you guys, come on. For $10,000, here is your first subject. Go. Uh, trees, holly leaves. Oh, a thing, Christmas things. Hey there, look over there. That's America, and I'm going to discover it. Oh, what Christopher Columbus might say. Uh, mustard, onions. Things you put on a hot dog. Uh, things, uh, mustard, condiments. Onion, uh, uh, things you put on a hamburger. Good. Ooh. A wrench, a screwdriver, a greasy rag. Oh, things in a, a toolkit, things uh, in a garage, uh, things a mechanic uses. Good. Man. Uh, a hose, an atomizer. Oh. A, uh, things you use with plants. Uh, a hose. Things an you atomizer. Things that use water. A perfume. Uh, things you spray. Dispenser. Things you uh, squirt. Ah, good. Subjects. Good friends. Things you study, uh, things you... Students, alumna. Things that are close, oh, uh, things... Friends. Things with a lot in common. True friends. Uh, things... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> You're only gone. Things that are faithful. Things, uh, oh, yeah, right. Yeah. A Boy alumna. Scout. A things boy. you are faithful, too. No, uh, Boy Scout. Boy Scout is... Things that are... Truthful and... Oh, yeah. Things that are loyal. That's yeah. it. Loyal. 
That was our We idea. all knew it but you, Paul. Uh, you know, I, I think we should give Bill the money. Uh, I think that's the nicest thing. Then I mean, you can give it to me. Yeah. 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 Pass yeah. it right along to Paul. That's it. Bill just won $10,000. <laughs> Congratulations. Fat chance. It's about no. no. no, $750, Paul. We'll be back with the second half of the game right after this. Thank you. Every Monday through Friday, and we appreciate your joining us uh, for as much of the day as you can spend. A half hour, hopefully, here. Let's see what we got. Paul, you've just won $750. You're yeah. with Lois Nettleton. Uh, a cartoonist. Uh, you have just graduated from school? Yeah, I've been out for about half a year now, and I'm freelancing about, and I also... Uh, do stand-up comedy on the side. Uh, I sort of had a feeling that you had <laughs> one of those minds. Well, yeah, well. Uh, it comes out. So. Just pops out, you know. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Bill Cullen and Julie Downey are partnered in this round. It'll be they who uh, pick the first subject. We have Age Before Beauty, Identify Yourself, The Hip Parade, Meet Me in St. Louis. Notice the spelling on that. Laugh a little. That's the ticket. And the Mystery 7 this time. What do we got here? <laughs> oh. oh. We're going to try. Now, Bill, listen to this, though. Oh, let me hear this. Because you'll want to get the seven. It's a trip for two to Tahiti. Oh, to Tahiti. <laughs> Will you stop that? No. Which one would you love? Where's the mystery seven, Bill? The Tahiti, Pennsylvania, Dick. No, the, no, it's the real one. That's the ticket. Cause that's, that's the ticket. That's going to be right, it, let's right? See. Uh, well. uh, these are things associated with a policeman. Things oh. associated with a policeman. Ready, go. Uh, what he wears? Uniform. Uh, when you go too fast, you're speeding. Uh, when a detective looks for little hints, they are clues. And uh, I, what is committed by a, a crime? Uh, the person who sees it is the the old witness. That's it. Uh, they serve you with a subpoena warrant. Right. Uh, he puts on all these things so he looks differently. A mask, a disguise. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Lois and Paul have their first choice. Or meet me in St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis. It's uh, meat dishes. Describe uh -huh. these meat dishes. Ready, go. At Thanksgiving, you Turkey. eat... Turkey. Uh, a, a sirloin Steak. or a tea... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's Italian or Jewish, and you slice it. It's a sausage. Oh, oh, uh, mm -hmm. oh garlic my goodness in it. gracious. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, provolone uh, Not, not pastrami, but... Uh, oh, bologna. Okay. Uh, go oh, on. You get it. Go on. Um, and onions. It's part of your... Liver. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Hungarian... Goulash. Mm -hmm. uh, what I just said before. It's not... Sausage. Uh, another kind. Oh, bologna. Uh, uh, it's not pastrami. Not beef, right? Uh, go ahead. You got pastrami oh. at the last. Oh. 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 <laughs> It's a tough fight, Ma. Salami was Salami. the other one. No, no, All right, it's uh, seven to five, five to seven. Julie? Okay. I think we're going to try age before beauty. All right, describe these things associated with age. Okay. Uh -oh. Things associated with age. Ready? <laughs> Go. The things you get when you grow up. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is what um, when a 13 year old Jewish boy has his. Uh, uh, a big party. Bar mitzvah. Right. Okay, when an apple becomes uh, ready to eat, it's. It's right. Uh huh. Um, Ten years is a. Decade. Okay. Um, an old piece of furniture is a... Antique. Uh-huh. Um, a type of uh, Christian Brothers... Um, Brandy. Right. And uh, you earn... Um, for, to your husband, you earn this to your... Um, Loyalty. Right, right. It's... Um, oh, uh, I... Oh, I couldn't mm. think of it. I couldn't get Respect was the last one. Mm -hmm. 13 to 5. It's all it's catch-up time, and one of them has the mystery 7 behind it. Laugh a little. Laugh a little is the choice Ooh. that's still there, that Mystery 7. Hmm. These are things that make kids laugh. Huh. Things that make kids laugh. Ready, go. Okay, you tell a funny... Story. A, uh, not a riddle, but a... Joke. Right. And uh, this is, he has his own TV show on Channel 4, a very uh, funny gentleman, uh, black comedian. Oh, Cut Bill Cosby. Right. And uh, Miss, uh, Kermit's... Oh, boy, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah. Monopoly is a... Game. Right. And uh, this is... Mm -hmm. Meet the... Mm -hmm. It's an old cartoon with Fred and Wilma and... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Pebbles right. and uh, Bam Bam yeah, right, and... Right, right, right. Uh, and Bart. Flintstones. Right. <laughs> and... Uh, oh! <laughs> At least we got a swing. And that's all. That's right. Paul, uh, 
Can I make a suggestion when you do your act that perhaps you shouldn't sing? I, uh, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was that's tough. You had, uh, what, Miss Piggy, you had a little yeah, problem I with. And the Flintstones were there, but they were rolling around in memory land. <laughs> like stones. You're trailing. The good part about that is you have the last choice, or the first choice of the last two oh. shortens up your odds. One of those could be worth a trip to Tahiti. Where is the Mystery 7? Identify yourself. Check it. There it is. <laughs> Your partner will give. You'll have 30 seconds. You need 16 points on the grand total to win. Tell you the subject afterwards, Lois. Check the screen. Ready and go. You dry yourself with a towel. You put your money in your wallet. Uh, you have photographs in an out. A uh, LA photo. Go ahead. Keep going. You wear a diamond a bracelet. Um, a man wears not a blouse, a but vest, a vest, a shirt. Mm -hmm. Uh, you go to sleep and pull up the, the sheets, the, the covers, warm one. the covers, the blanket. Mm -hmm. uh, you win something for a race, and it is a, a trophy. Mm -hmm. That's it, folks. Those are things that are monogrammed. Oh, no, that's... I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, it's hurt. catching. Once it starts, it doesn't stop. It's happened yeah. about three, four times in the last couple of days. I, I don't know how to help you with that. Fifteen to thirteen. Julie, I think you got a win coming up here. Do you want to give or receive? I'll give. You need uh, 16 points. These are things associated with a belly dancer. Okay. Things associated with a belly dancer. Ready, go. Oh, this is the outfit she wears. The whole thing is called Costume. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, you ring a little. A uh, uh, bell. Uh -huh. uh, oh. uh, her belly button is also called her? Her navel. Uh -huh. That's the 16 points. We're going to the winner's circle for $10,000. Right after this. Hi. <laughs> well, Julie have uh, made themselves as comfortable as any, anybody can be under the circumstances here with the lights and cameras and what have you. We're going for $10,000. Your opponent has won $750. Therefore, you want to match that. That's the first two lines. Yeah, you, you, the same old thing, Bill. If you're having trouble with one, leave it and come back to it later. If you will right. say the words next or turn it or something, so okay. we'll just know, okay? Here is your first subject. Go. Mashed, lyonnaise, fried. What types of food? Types of... Mashed. Potatoes. Hey there, I'm, I am the thing a knight carries to stab people with. Oh, oh. And he waves it around. What Robert would say, what a thief would say. No, 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 he, I, he carries me to ram, to run into somebody. Don't use what your hands. What a knight would say? A big pardon? What a knife would say? Uh, a long, uh, I am longer than a knife. Oh, what a machete would say. Uh, let's pass it and come back. What a sword would say. That's yes. it. Uh, books, pupils, a teacher. Things in school. Uh, a mosquito bite. Things that itch. A things rat. That sweat. Uh, rug weaving. Basket T Types of tapestry. Weaving. Types of um, knitting. Uh, types of yarn. Leather, leather marking. Types of arts and crafts. Hurry, Bill. The sun. Things that are bright. An things atom. that are cheery. Things that explode. An atom. Things uh, that, um, a person. Uh, an athlete. Uh, things uh, that are vibrant. The things sun. That, things that... Oh. Oh. Here it goes. My oh. That was close. Peaks and I can't I know, play. I'm sorry, I couldn't you play with me, Dick. I never did see it. That's You'll never know such what bad clues. <laughs> things, well, what are things? Yeah, a battery, maybe, A light maybe, huh? bulb, a battery. battery. And you I, uh... said something about a vibrant athlete or what? Yes, mm -hmm. I almost said an ebullient person or... Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know that, whether it helped. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of those that... You didn't even get yes. it. Would have been you nice, did very right? well. This is a tie now, folks. That means we'll have the same four people back here tomorrow fighting it out in a death struggle no, on the $25,000 pyramid, which will return momentarily. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Bill Cullen is over there feverishly writing that number down. You want to be a contestant I now, do right? indeed. It's better. It pays better when you're a contestant. Look, I'll give you a shot again tomorrow. All Thank four you of you have been very back. nice. You fought it out to a tie. This is one of those great days when we don't lose anybody. So, Lois, you'll redeem yourselves tomorrow. Yes. Oh, well, like So I figure if I chastise you enough, you'll all come back and really hit us hard. Paul, you're up to $2,900. Bill, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Dave. And, Julie, you've won $750 thus far. So let's make it a date on a Thursday, okay? See you then. For now, Dick Clark. So long.